What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again to another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, we're going to be talking about seven essential apps that you need for your new Galaxy S25 device. Now, this is mainly targeted at new Samsung users, but if you're a returning user, you may remind yourself of an app that you forgot about. I'm going to be talking about a lot of apps from Samsung's Good Lock suite, um, which is Samsung's customizable suite of modules that enhance your device experience. But there's also a couple of other apps that allow you to customize your device and get the best quality of life overall on the day-to-day -day basis. So that's what we're gonna get into today. I've got seven apps to share with you guys. Before we get started, I will remind you, make sure you check out our website, samiguru.com. We have the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. Um, Full-time news staff there now. We're writing 10 to 15 articles a day. You can also get in our mystery box program if you haven't bought an S25 yet and you want to. We still have a few boxes left. You get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand. All you have to do is order through our official links. These are our affiliate links. That's how we fund the program. We pay for shipping costs as well. Fill out the verification form, and then you get your box. Um, that will be ending very soon. We'll be starting our new Sammy Guru Rewards program, which will give everybody some other great benefits you can get as well, customization tools, wallpapers. So stay tuned for that. If you want to sign up from our newsletter, uh, we'll make sure to inform you when that is ready to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into these apps. The very first one on my list is One Hand Operation Plus. Some of these apps are also downloadable as standalone applications inside the Galaxy Store. And this is one such application. If you go to the Galaxy Store, you can type in One Hand Operation Plus and you will find it. You see the developers Good Lock Labs, which is an internal team within Samsung. And it is part of the Good Lock suite as well. So if you download Good Lock, you can also find it within there. I highly recommend downloading Good Lock as a whole because you'll notice that there's a lot of useful apps. Now, you can find it under a bunch of the new tabs in Good Lock. One Hand Operation Plus is under Gestures in particular. What this allows you to do if you turn it on is it gives you two handles on each side that allow you to customize your gestures. Now, of course, if you're using regular navigation gestures, One Hand Operation Plus will take precedence over those gestures, which means you probably want to leave some of the more simple gestures to be the back key and the recent key, just like they are in the standard gesture setup. But what this lets you do is, if you tap on the left and right handle, you can enable different actions for straight right, diagonal up, diagonal down, and you can even enable a long swipe. Now, just as a pro tip, because I've been using this for years, I usually leave all the short swipes to be mapped to their defaults. So it's easier to not accidentally trigger something uh, when you meant to use the default gestures for back and the recents, et cetera. I use the long swipe as other things. I usually use the quick tools. And then down here, there's a bunch of other applications that you can use. One of the ones that I typically find very, very useful is this one right here, the auto rotation. You can use auto rotation or rotate right, rotate left to rotate your screen when you go diagonal up. You've got quick tools. And then the other one that I really love, and I haven't added any widgets yet on my S25 Ultra, but you also have the pop-up widget option as well. There's just so many cool things in here. You guys can see all the options you have. Open quick panel, open notification panel, play track, back key. I mean, all the defaults, of course, but so many other really cool ones. Show edge panel, uh, power key menu, game booster, mode, start application. Uh, you can actually do this, start app and pop-up view. This will make it so that you automatically start an application in a pop-up window when you do this, when you do diagonal down. Um, so there's really a lot of cool stuff that you can do here. And so what will happen is now if I go straight right here, if I go straight right, long swipe, it's going to give me my quick tools right there. So you can really have you know unlimited customization with One Hand Operation Plus. There's a lot that you can do here. You could spend hours and hours customizing this because you can do it for the left. You can also do it for the right. Um, and they've just added more and more things over time. They've added so many different things. The widgets pop up is fantastic. Basically, you can add a bunch of widgets here. So when you do straight right, you could make it, you do have to be, so you notice when you first go home, you have to pause a second to do the straight right. Otherwise, it goes to the Google Now feed. Uh, here, you can touch and hold a widget and add any widget you want. And you can add a bunch of these as a pop-up. So you can add like your calendar. You do need to have the right sizes though. And you can fill up these widgets and then you can swipe through them uh, as you do a long swipe on One Hand Operation Plus. Um, there's a bunch of other things you can do to customize the size of the actual handle, um, the transparency, the color, uh, the gesture settings for the distance, the vibration, literally take control of everything. And it makes your phone easier to use with one hand, which is great for a large device like the S25 Ultra. Highly recommend One Hand Operation Plus as the first essential app 
you should give a try for your S25 device. Up next is Sound Assistant. Now Sound Assistant, which is also part of GoodLock, but can be found as a standalone module in the Galaxy Store, as I illustrated earlier, Sound Assistant allows you to customize your volume panel and do some other very interesting things. I wanna highlight two features that I find the most useful. I have videos covering all these modules in depth individually, and I'll link them below. I'm also gonna make a full in-depth GoodLock course, which will be available at Sammy Guru and as a video series very soon. But change step volume is very useful. So instead of your, your volume step, when you do the volume going up by 10, you can make it go up by whatever you want. I choose five, so you can adjust this to your preference. You can have go five, six, all the way back up to 10, all the way down to one, so you can get granular volume controls. That's the first one I love. The second one is I absolutely love the Flex UI volume panel. So you can get these really cool gradient colors that vibrate and move around like this. It looks good. There's a bunch of different options for the lighting effects. They've added some new ones, and you can also customize your own theme if you, will, if you don't like the Flex UI, but I think this looks beautiful. Finally, they just added a brand new feature, which I've been enjoying a lot, maintain media volume while using navigation. This is great in the car if you're using Google Maps. It'll make sure that your media does not get lowered when Google Maps comes over to do a voiceover for direction. So when it's telling you to turn left, turn right, et cetera, you're still gonna be able to enjoy your tunes. The volume's not gonna get lowered. It doesn't actually make the uh, navigation directions unintelligible either. Been testing it since they added this like a week ago. Works flawlessly. Definitely try out Sound Assistant. It'll give you a much better you know, overall experience with listening to media, music, et cetera, on your Galaxy phone. Up next is Camera Assistant, another module that is part of GoodLock, but is also downloadable as a standalone module. Camera Assistant can be downloaded directly from the Galaxy Store or accessed with inside GoodLock. Here's the icon for it. Now here's a tip, once you install Camera Assistant from the Galaxy Store, you can actually open up your camera application and then you can go into the settings on your camera application and you'll be able to find Camera Assistant embedded in the camera settings themselves. If you scroll down, you'll see it right here below Vibration Feedback and this enables a bunch of customization options for your camera. Again, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that I personally like for Camera Assistant. Auto lens switching is turned on by default inside the Galaxy camera. I turn this off just because I don't want it to auto switch the lens at the end of the day. That's my personal opinion and just kind of how the, I like to do it. Uh, down here, I like to turn quick tap shutter on and prioritize focus over speed just to get better photos. So those are two things that can improve your overall experience. Now, this is a new feature for the S25 series, HDR 10 plus for videos recorded in video and pro mode. You can go ahead and turn this on. Um, this is something that if you do make a lot of videos, you probably want the HDR 10 plus content. And you can also save videos to external storage if again, you're doing something, if you're a creator like I am making videos for YouTube uh, as your daily job, this might be a very helpful option. But there's a lot of fun stuff to play around in there. Um, you can also tune the zoom shortcuts that you want enabled by default. If you wanna have that 100X shortcut there on the main camera setting screen, you can do that as well. So much that you can take control of with Camera Assistant. Next, let's talk about HomeUp. HomeUp just got a massive redesign with the Galaxy S25 series and One UI 7. Now, HomeUp has been around for a while and you can go in good luck and find it under gestures, but it's also downloadable also from the Galaxy Store now. It enables you to customize everything about the animations on your device, also lets you customize some other aspects. So let's go into HomeUp here and I'll show you what I have turned on. I made a very long 20 minute video on this module alone because it just got a huge update. But the one thing that has been added that's just fantastic is you can fully tune your gestures and animations to your specific preferences. And really the options here are endless. You've got classic, elegant, dynamic, sweet, simple tuning to make them faster or more emotional, which means slower and a little bit, you know, enjoying the go with the flow kind of animations. Or you can do advanced tuning, which is based off of these various parameters and utilizes the cubic bezier curve, which is what this interpolator right here is. Now I am preparing an article for Sammy Guru as well as another video doing a deep dive into this. So subscribe if you guys want to see those advanced settings and I'll also share some of my personal settings, four or five different options that I've made with advanced tuning. I'd like to see some of you guys share them as well. But this isn't the only thing you can do. If tuning your animations or your gestures doesn't necessarily appeal to you, there are other things you can do. You can change the layout of your task changer, which is tilt stack by default. I have on the grid task changer, which I've enabled using home up, turn on mini mode. You can also turn the search bar on inside the task changer. You also have on the home screen, the ability to do some crazy things. You can loop your pages, 
turn on and off finder access, play with the blur control, and the brand new feature, which is the craziest thing Samsung's ever done, you can turn on the do-it-yourself home screen, which lets you put these widgets, icons, everything you want, every different angle, you can add stickers to your home screen. It's madness, but it's absolutely fantastic. And uh, you can play around with that, and if you decide you don't like it, or you just wanna go back to normal for the day, maybe it's too crazy, you can switch back with just a really quick tap. So this is a great feature, um, something they also added recently to HomeUp. You also have backup and restore, all of your settings. You have your share manager, where you can customize the various people you share with on the quick share menu. You can customize your edge panel now. You can give yourself more columns and also the ability to see all of them without scrolling, which is fantastic. And that is pretty much the new home up. There's a lot to see here, so I, I recommend checking out my video on this new update, going over all the various settings that have been added to home up, especially if you've used it before. It's a fantastic module, definitely one you should try, and I'll have a more detailed video and an article on Sammy Guru very soon about tuning those animations and giving you guys some suggestions. So let's talk about Keys Cafe. So a lot of people ask me how I get this keyboard that I utilize on my device. You can see the really cool effects I have here on my keyboard and the custom blue theme that I have for Sammy Guru for our website. Well, the way I do this is using Keys Cafe, which is indeed another good lock module. And if you go in here, you can also find it as a standalone app inside the Galaxy Store, as I've said about the others. If you go to Keys Cafe, there's a couple things you can do. You can make your own keyboard, which allows you to edit the layout of the various keyboards. You can change and edit these keys however you want to your preferences, and you can add pretty much whatever keys you want. You can even add Roman numerals. It's pretty crazy. You can also get some default options, symbol options like math keyboard, math and chemistry. You can switch back and forth, for instance, if you're in college and you need the math or chemistry keyboards or both. Um, for some of your work, you're talking with some of your you know, classmates doing some homework assignments, and then switch back to your regular keyboard later on. In addition, what most people are more interested in, you can style your keyboard, choose a custom theme, or make your own, and over here, change these effects. You've got keyboard color effect, key color effect, key motion effect, which you guys can see I've enabled the various styles that are listed here. Lots of ones to play around with, you can see here. You can also change the color palette, it's really crazy. Samsung gives you infinite options. You can also change the sound of your keyboard over here on the far right. At the very bottom, you've got some advanced keyboard settings. You can auto replacement sensitivity, you can adjust this. Turn off delete accelerator, do not use acceleration delete. Double tap interval of three, of three to five, four keyboards, adjust the double tap interval, and use sticker suggestions in larger view. So a couple of these I like to turn on, Playing with the auto replacement sensitivity, I usually turn it to medium. I just find it to be the most enjoyable for my day-to-day -day use. It's definitely a great one, especially if you're sticking with the Samsung keyboard. It gives you a new look and feel, and also gives you some better usability if you tune that auto replacement sensitivity setting. Once you've done all that various customization, you might as well also give yourself a fresh look with your wallpaper. And for that, I'm gonna recommend two of my favorite wallpaper apps. You guys who've been a fan of the channel for a while know all about them. They are one for wall which has an amazing array of wallpapers that are updated daily and categorized inside the app. I absolutely love one for wall. Uh, the designer Vuk Andrik, of course, is my partner with Inspira Casas, our case brand, which is this case that I have over here. A lot of the wallpapers are also found in our Inspira Casas pack. And uh, he also designs the other wallpaper app that I'm going to mention, which is Thematica. The wallpaper I'm using in today's video is actually a Thematica wallpaper and you can find it inside of the Space Collection. You guys can see it right there. I've had a couple of these in my most recent videos. Thematica has some other collections that are distinct from the ones on One for Wall. Um, some of their collections are a little bit deeper in some of the areas and also has a little bit more color maybe and some of them a little more vibrant, crazier wallpapers, um, more in depth with like the vehicles collection that Vuk's been exploring over time. And I absolutely love them. You guys can see the wallpaper I'm using today. Of course, there's a lot of great wallpaper apps out there. I happen to be biased since Vuk is my partner. Definitely check it out if you like great wallpapers though. I do not think you'll be disappointed at all. Final app here I wanna mention is Samsung Find. Now this is installed by default on a lot of Samsung phones around the world, but not every region has this app installed. So you may have to go and find this inside the Galaxy Store if it isn't installed by default in your region. Just search for Samsung Find. And if you're in the Galaxy ecosystem, this is 100% an essential application. What it allows you to do is you can basically find all of your various things in your Galaxy ecosystem. Your Galaxy Buds, your Galaxy Watch, your Galaxy Book, your Galaxy Tab. 
Um, this allows you to do pretty much everything that you would need to do in terms of finding those, locating them, etc. And you can see here, you can see, you can get, use this. Samsung Find lets you share location with other people as well. You can choose, you know, how often you get notified of this. So it's a very, very nice uh, feature. It basically allows you to get an idea of where your devices are at any given time. Of course, if you want to use this, you're going to have to allow location all the time and also allow it to use location of the device. So it's going to show you where your it's going to show you where your various devices are on the map. It's going to show you various people that have shared their location with you. Um, there's some new settings and things they've added over time to make this a much better experience. I definitely need Samsung Find, and if you're deep inside the ecosystem, it's definitely something that you're going to want to use on your Galaxy S25 series device as well. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Check out SammyGuru.com for all your Samsung needs, news, reviews, etc. We've got big things coming there with the Sammy Guru Rewards program. Sign up for the newsletter if you want to get in on that. Be one of the first people to sign up. Get in on the S25 mystery boxes while they still last. If you're interested, it's in the pinned comment description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.